So there's pretty much a gadget for any job you want these days. Yep, and today we are going to test some kitchen gadgets. So you know which ones are good. And well, which ones are less good. All right, let's get started. Okay, so today we are going to be testing some kitchen gadgets. Now, a lot of these have only just arrived, so we, uh, we've been trying some, but we haven't tried all of them um, before we started filming this. Um, so a lot of it we will be testing as we go. But that's kind of cool in a way because uh, you get to see how easy it, they are to use uh, from our very first go. So I am going to use the traditional knife, and Raluca is going to be using some of the gadgets. All right, let's see how we go. So first up, we're gonna use this strawberry leaf remover. Um, so basically, this is a spring-loaded mechanism, uh, or spring-loaded gadget, uh, which uh, Raluca thinks looks a little bit like a rocket. Like a little <laughs> rocket, yeah. <laughs> um, we haven't used this one too much uh, already. We've had a couple of attempts, but not too much. Um, and so basically, all it is, is um, it's got a spring-loaded mechanism. It's got some little nippers that come out at the end that reaches in, takes the uh, leaves out of the strawberry and uh, yeah, we'll see how that compares to a regular kitchen knife um, and see what is faster, what's more convenient when we're uh, preparing strawberries. Okay, let's give it a go. After you. Thank you. Have the leaves. Okay, you go first. strawberry was removed with the leaves but it's quite fast so I guess there's a couple of ways you can do it with a traditional knife so we can cut the end off also pretty fast um, you do lose a bit of the end of the strawberry so depending on how careful you are um, will depend on how much strawberry you lose in the cutting process if you were to replicate the way that uh, gadget removes the leaves basically what we do is we would have to go inside the strawberry like this. A little bit dangerous with a gigantic knife like what I've got. Um, and then you remove it like that. So possible to do the job with a knife, but what do you reckon? Easier? I don't think it's easier definitely with a knife. Uh, the gadget uh, is faster, it's easier to use, safer. If you have children that would like to help you in the kitchen, definitely want to um, give them the gadget and you will use the knife. So uh, if you have a lot of strawberries that you have to um, take the leaves out in a um, you know, uh, short amount of time, uh, a kilogram of uh, strawberries will be way easier and faster with the gadget. Yeah, so if you're making jam or something, it's probably really useful. And yeah, that's a good point about kids. So if you're training kids um, on, on uh, cutting veggies and, and fruit in the kitchen, then it's uh, definitely a handy gadget to have in that sense. Uh, keep their fingers away from a big plate. Probably wouldn't want to give them a knife that size anyway. But um, yeah, uh, I, this is pretty much the, the main knife I use in the kitchen, so that's why I've chosen this one for this video. Um, and yeah, let's see what we've got next. So, oh, well, actually, what, what do you reckon out of 10? What would you say? I would rate um, this gadget maybe 7 out of 10 um, because it's easy to use, it's fast, uh, these are not sharp at all, children will love it. Um, the only downside probably is that we don't know if it's um, dishwasher. Um, dishwasher safe yeah so basically I think the um, the gripping mechanism or the nippers at the end they're stainless steel it does have a spring uh, inside like I mentioned earlier and so water is going to get inside here how long that would last I don't know but what we will do we'll give it a go we'll put it in our dishwasher and then we'll um, we'll see what that is like and we'll show you with the magic of the camera we can do it pretty quickly just by snapping our fingers Okay, so our dishwasher has just finished. Now we have a tray at the top uh, for the cutlery. Often there is a basket down the bottom, um, which in this case probably would actually help this gadget because it would have been sitting vertically as opposed to horizontally. But even though it was sitting uh, horizontally, it doesn't seem to have too much water in there. Uh, if I empty it, if I uh, use a mechanism to open it, it's no water coming out. That's a good sign. So, 
even though it seemed to handle the dishwasher experiment pretty well, I think I would probably still um, still hand wash it. I think it's probably easier and safer and make the, uh, the gadget last a little bit longer. Uh, but of course, that one is over to you. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more notifications. We're going to keep testing more gadgets and we will uh, release those videos as we've finished. But for now, thanks for watching. See ya.